I'm the physio now. I'm the physiotherapist. That will be 60 pounds, please. <laughs> it's like double vlogging. <laughs> Good girl. What do you think, Toya? Love her. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, I've literally just got up, washed my face and put some clothes on because it is 8am, although the camera will tell you the wrong time because I still haven't changed the time on my camera. So I'm sure when I put my little credits on, you know, at the start of each day, it will say 7am, it's not, it's 8 And this morning I've got the day off work, last minute day off work because we are driving to East Sussex, which is two and a bit hours for us to go and try uh, a pony for Victoria so um, we actually tried one last week which I didn't vlog which wasn't suitable at all it was really strong and really green um, but we're hoping maybe today will be successful but I thought it'd be really interesting um, to try and vlog some clips so I'll try and film me riding it mum Toya riding it and um, her little debrief afterwards I thought it might be a bit more interesting I mean it's not every day you buy a horse is it um, so yeah, that is what we're doing today, and I'm driving, because my mum doesn't like driving on the M25, bless her. I'm just waiting for them to get here, they're not here yet, and as soon as they are here, we'll be going. Ugh, oh, the last time I drove this way, it would have been when I was going to the airport to go on holiday last year, it's so depressing. So depressing. Uh, anyway, right, I must stop waffling, and um, I will catch up with you guys after we've tried this pony. <laughs> Annabelle, my dad's here. Should I see you? Yeah. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Probably Thursday. <laughs> she holds your reins. Good girl. Heels down. The strips are probably a bit short, but it's all right. Really nice, sir, Victoria. Make sure you hold your inside rein, just a little bit more, not too tight, just so it's not floppy like that. Good girl. Kick all the way down. Go on, leg, 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 leg. Good girl. Whoa. Well done, Victoria. Good evening. Um, I'm rocking my boiled egg look tonight. I took all my makeup off because wow it is my car said it's 30 degrees still and it's just gone six at night it has been so hot today it's just not been fun um but i will hopefully have inserted the clips from the viewing earlier which went really really well and we actually put down a deposit um for she's called socks so we're actually getting her vetted on friday i can't be there unfortunately because it's like two and a bit hours away and I can't get any more time off work I had to take the day off work so um she's our subject to vetting so um I'm trying not to get too excited and trying to not let Victoria get too excited but um she seems absolutely perfect for what we're looking for and as you'll have seen Victoria just got on she was trotting around she had a little canter and then she popped a little jump she hasn't jumped um for a year and a half maybe and for her just to get on a strange horse and pop a little jump that tells me everything i need to know like she obviously felt really safe um and that's what we're looking for just something for her to um have some fun on and um the little mare socks seems really sweet um and yeah hopefully i'm really really hoping this is all going to work out i'm not looking forward to driving all the way back down there to pick her up but Okay, things you do for your sisters. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to quickly get on goat. Um, I'm gonna leave from a schooling session. I haven't got long, I've actually got therapy at seven. Oh, it feels weird telling you guys about that. Yeah, I've got therapy at seven, just um, on FaceTime. But yeah, I just need to quickly get goat ridden first and I can get home afterwards, shower, get to bed, go up for work tomorrow, boring. Um, because yeah, back to work tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, goatee's got physio. 
Thursday he's got the farrier. Friday I've got a lesson. Saturday someone exciting is coming to visit. You guys will see who. And Friday's vetting day. And then somewhere in all of this I will try to rest. This is my problem. Oh, it's a cat. It's good luck if a black cat crosses your path, isn't it? Come on, this is this is a sign, guys. Black cat's a sign. It's a sign the thing's gonna go well. Um, yeah, this is my problem. I always say this. I am such a busy person and I make too many plans and then I burn out and then I get poorly like last week and yeah, I'm not very good at saying no and doing nothing. But anyway, um, I've updated you all guys on everything from today. I'm gonna go in my goat now and get really sweaty probably. And I will probably speak to you tomorrow evening in all honesty because um, I won't be in the mood to talk after therapy, but yeah, speak to you then. I'll come around this side. Oh, it looks, oh, it looks like a dentist thing. Look at <laughs> get it in the right place. See, it, when it's not connecting, that's the other thing. When it's not connecting, it flashes. Oh, okay. And it will only... hear it whirring. Is there a baby in there, goat? <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> well, you never know. He's got his front leg testicle. <laughs> it's gone now. It's gone. It honestly looks like something you'd find in a dentist. I have been left in charge. I'm the physio now. I'm the physiotherapist. That will be 60 pounds, please. <laughs> I'm just holding this. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Don't swish us with your tail. We have, oh well, I have just been made to do Zoe's quiz um i was really i actually wasn't too bad was i you can nod or shake your head if you, you don't want to talk better than most. yeah see i mean i'm going to try and say some of these names now um which one do you reckon's the hardest one the brassophysophilicus brachylus phallicus <laughs> yeah that or the serratus ventralis thoracic I totally know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to give up working for the police and be a physio, basically. But yeah, I've basically done the quiz and did... It's not like... It's like painting by numbers, but match the muscle to the number. It was very, very interesting. Match the muscle to the description of what the muscle does. That's it. Um, and I'm actually hopefully... I think I'm doing a pub quiz... Not pub quiz, but a, quiz, a horsey quiz next week. And I'm going to tap Zoe up to help me with my questions. Good evening. It's Thursday and it is still really really hot but awfully hot I, it's so humid and sticky tonight and we have had no rain and no thunderstorms and I'm seeing all these pictures online of torrential flooding and rain and it's still like the Sahara Desert here um, Goats Field is now his sand pit basically but um, what have I done today? Oh, I've been at work all day and it's such a shame that I can't, it's not a shame, it's part of the job, but I can't talk to you really um, about my job, but today was one of those really, really good days. You know those days where you, something's by my leg, you push yourself out of your comfort zone and um, it goes well basically that's all I'm gonna say I can't really go into too much detail but it was a good day in the office I've just got to a stable to see the wheelbarrow I've just mucked out and um, I had a parcel come from Amiga Equine and I thought I would open it on the vlog um, this uh, obviously as you guys will know I'm brand ambassadors for Amiga but these were all paid for with my hard-earned money um, and it's just a little top up of goats um, essentials and then something new to try so it's down here. I love this stuff. I've never done it before, but apparently it dissolves in water. So I'm going to put it in a bucket um, in a minute and see if it dissolves. Because I never know what to do with all these things. Um, so we've got, let me put it all out, some more electrolytes. I'm not really doing holding the camera very well. Oh, oh, it's really heavy. I've just dropped it. Electrolytes is like the worst lighting. 
uh, electrolytes, which um, he has all the time anyway. I've doubled him up at the moment because it is so hot. And, oh, what's the other thing on? It's like lucky dip, isn't it? Rummage around. Another top up of our biotin. Again, something I have had go on for donkey's years now. When I bought Goat, he actually couldn't keep a shoe on longer than a week. That's a true story. Um, so, biotin has made a huge difference. And a couple of other things. I might do, I might talk about that. Goat's hoof care, because x racers are notoriously, well not even x racers thoroughbreds have notoriously bad feet. Goat definitely did, um, and we've kind of turned them around, but it hasn't been easy. Uh, and then I bought this to try, the Amiga Ultra Clay. <laughs> so Goat, um, I'll show you guys. He actually, when he lives out, he where he lays down at night, he cuts, oh God, I'm throwing everything around. He cuts his hocks, so where he like folds his little legs up, he, um, his feet, his shoes must catch his hocks and he pulls the skin off and then it bleeds, it gets sore and then it, like it heals in the day and then that night then he does it again. So I got that thinking I'd put it on there and he also cuts himself all the time because he's a self-harmer. So, um, oh, we also got a little coconut treat sample. So go to, go to loves these. Um, that's really kind of them as well. I love when you get freebies. Yes, anyway, I'm going to try this now put these in a bucket of water and see what happens and then I'm gonna lunge goat and then I'm gonna go home because I said that I wouldn't be late home from the yard tonight and it's already it's half seven I'm gonna be late home this week is a killer doing five ten hour days although I had Tuesday off to go pony shopping but 50 hours in a week 7 a.m. till 5 I work and I was late off tonight and then exercising the horses and doing all my jobs afterwards having dinner having some form of life is basically near on impossible yeah but not all weeks like this, it's just one in three, so it's okay. Oh, and, 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 tomorrow is vetting day, Yeek. I'm so nervous as she had. I am really hoping that Socks, she's called Socks, apparently that we've bought or put a deposit down on. I'm really hoping that she passes the vetting tomorrow because Victoria's so excited and she's just got her passion back and she's just loving it. So I'm really, really hoping that, um, Socks passes the vetting tomorrow, so fingers crossed. Everyone cross your fingers, although you'll see this. By the time you watch this, you'll have to know if she's passed or not. Okay, right, enough waffling. Okay, I've got a sweet, I found some sweets in the bottom of the um, box. <laughs> Here we go, I'm gonna try this. I've never done this before, this could be an epic fail. I see everyone doing it on Instagram, and um, here we go. Is it working? Oh no, it's not working. Is it, is it working? It's just getting bigger. This isn't supposed to happen, I don't think. Oh no, maybe they are breaking down, look. It's just like something from a horror film where it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, now what do I do? Do I tip it out? I think this might actually, look. Uh oh. No, no, they have dissolved. Look guys, they've dissolved, it's okay. I mean, there's a few left. <laughs> This will only happen to me when I'm vlogging, wouldn't it? Don't do this at home. Put them in the sink. Don't flood your yard with... I mean, that's a cool idea, though. If I knew what I was doing. Right, I'm going to put the camera down now and actually sweep up. I have just got co go Coaty? Goaty in, and the cut on his hock is the worst that I have ever seen it. Um, yeah, if this doesn't work then I'm gonna have no choice but to start bringing him in at night because it's gonna get infected don't do that while I'm vlogging go I don't know if you guys heard that he passed wind um, I'll show you guys now and then um, yeah we'll see if the clay works I don't know him laying down might put it off so it's probably not the best place to try but I'll give it a go we'll see what happens let me show you what it looks like currently and go he's super chill this evening look 
I'm chilling out, goat. Can we see a wobbly lip? <laughs> There it is. Okay, right. This is what his hock looks like, which is really not ideal. Because this is where he sleeps, and then when he lays down, he cuts it, and he's cut here and here. So I'm just going to clean it now um, with my botanical. He's, this bad. This one's not as bad as you'll see. But I'm going to give that clean as well with my um, botanical wash, which I've just put in here, and then I'm going to put some clay on and. Yeah, lunch him and then we'll see what happens. He's resting his chin on the gate post. What's that comfy? It's a bit later now, because I just lunch go. I washed his, am I in focus? Yeah, I washed his cuts first and then I wanted them to dry. Hello darling. Yes, that's gonna go on your cuts in a minute. Um, I'm eating another sweet. I washed his cuts and then it said on the t on the tin on the tub that it needed to be dry so I then lunged him now we're gonna put some of this on and then turn him back out give him his din dins and I'm gonna go home because it's half eight actually I've got a poo pick but I'm not gonna go home I'll go home at some point and then I'll get up at half five to um, go to work tomorrow but yes anyway I'm gonna put this on take some photos so I can do a little review and watch this space we will see what his cuts are like tomorrow hopefully not so red raw. Fingers crossed, take goatee. I just thought I would put you on the fence and open it first impressions. Ooh, it looks like a face mask. Smells like, actually it smells like the wash that I just washed his cuts with, which is tea, tea tree oil. Has this got tea tree in it? I bet it's got tea tree in it. Tea tree oil, that's what it smells like. It smells so good. And this is what it looks like like a face mask um so let's put this on goosey's cuts and um hope it works I right. oh everything's falling everywhere i just want to show you what it looks like on and then i will stop vlogging at some point and get on with my job so i've just put it on this is what it looks like i've put loads on is it gonna focus come on there we go this is what it looks like on i've put a lot on and it's now hopefully starting to dry and then hopefully that is going to stay on there and protect his little cut Good morning, it is Saturday. Um, sorry I didn't vlog yesterday because one, I had work and then two, I had um, my godchildren when they're not Christian, Chris, they're not, they weren't christened, um, but they're equivalent of um, my godchildren. They're um, all under 10 and two of them are under five, I think. Um, I'm rubbish with ages. Uh, they came out to see the ponies last night and um, I didn't vlog, I just wanted to spend some time with them and it was lovely. But it is Saturday now, it's, no it's not that early, it's quarter to nine. Um, but, or half eight even, because my clock in my car is ten minutes fast so I'm never late. <laughs> Anyone else do that? Um, it's raining. I mean I know that I said I really wanted it to rain but it's that annoying misty rain that gets you absolutely drenched and I haven't planned today very well. I basically double booked myself so I said I would work overtime and then I also agreed um, to our mystery guest who is coming this morning. So basically the plan is now, oh yeah actually I triple booked and then Goat's dressage lesson got moved from last night to today. So. It's going to be a busy day. Basically, this morning, um, mystery guest is coming. You'll see who soon. We're going hacking. Poor goat is getting ridden twice today. I mean, I'm not sure why I'm saying poor because he is event fit. Um, but we're just going for a walk hack this morning. So I don't even count that really as it's not really hard work. And then we're going to go for lunch. Then I'm going to work this afternoon, do some overtime because got vet bills and events to pay for and my credit card is not looking very healthy I'll be honest guys um, and then tonight Tammy's coming and then tomorrow oh, I haven't I just realized I haven't spoken to you so yesterday was vetting day um, yeah uh, really good news we've bought her there were a couple um, of things the vet raised with me which um, didn't spot when we went or well, I didn't witness but nothing that concerns me um basically she was a little bit um strong in hand for trotting up and that basically she just dragged her current owner to the grass girl after my own heart she didn't want the food so yeah we just need to be mindful of that um but 
we've had horse we, we can deal with that I mean not like complete novices that have never had a horse before so we can deal with that and also um so she passed the vetting um she um Oh, I can't get my words out this morning. Everything was fine with her. Past flexion, past trot up. Um, and she, the vet just basically said that she needs a little bit of love, which we knew anyway. So, um, yeah, well, Ella's about to walk past. Look, you see her? She has no idea she's being filmed. Huh? Um, yes. And, yeah, so basically she needs... A full MOT, basically. She needs physio, she needs her feet done, she's a bloody good bath, a trim, a haircut, and just to be worked properly, we need to do a lot of fitness work with her. Um, and yeah, she's going to be a little bit of a project because she's so safe. Um, Victoria loves her. So hopefully it's going to give Victoria something to focus on as well. I'm going to be involved and it'll hopefully be something really nice that Victoria and me and my mum can do together. Um, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So... That's a plan. So we're going to collect her tomorrow. So this vlog is going to be very exciting. It's going to be like new pony vlogs. Not even my pony, but obviously I'll still be helping out. So I feel like she'll she'd be part of our little horsey horsey family. Uh, but yeah, you guys are updated, and um, I'm going to get out in the rain now. I didn't really didn't think this through because I'm going straight from here to the office. So I'm going to be sat soggy all afternoon. Brilliant. My mystery person is here. Ah, it's Tilly! <laughs> and um, Ella's not the mystery person, you know who she is. And it's not Terry, it's Brock. She hasn't brought um, Terry down here. Yeah, he's broken. He's he broken. another grey. We are um, hacking down. We are taking Tilly to the beach because every time I post on Instagram about being on the beach, I get I a message <laughs> Can I come? Can I come? Without so, fail. And there's a car. There's always a car when I vlog. Stand by. <laughs> Three happy ears. Well, oh yeah, Annie's are happy. <laughs> Annie's are like proper words. Goats refusing. That's all the time. He always has this facial expression. It's like, if I have to... Are you excited to see the beach, Tilly? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. So much so that I was like, is that mist or is that water? It's water. <laughs> it's really eerie down here today. Like, is that, that bad? <laughs> this is our little beach. Oh, let me get. <laughs> <laughs> it's like double vlogging. <laughs> double vlog. <laughs> And Ella's like, come on guys. <laughs> Tilly, you need to catch up. The small bit. Can I do on your marks, get set, go? Go on. Yay! That was so good. He's so cool. Ah, oh, he's so good. I didn't count that time. Good girl. I suppose you'd never know what you've got. Mm, somebody's texting me. Um. <laughs> One hundred. Ah, shit! Oh. <laughs> oh, that was filming. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just left your head on the other side of it. I'm gonna have to edit my swearing out of the vlog. Mm, I'm oh. not coming out from under my tree. I'm not coming off this. You're definitely fatter since the last time I saw you. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. It's like this. Meet Dave. He's so cute. Dave's got a new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you going to come live with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel a bit left out? Take him. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare. No, he's, I mean, oh, oh he, he says, no, when he keeps sure. getting on um, Alice's trailer, Laurie. Did I put this on Tilly's trying a gherkin. Tilly vs gherkin. Go. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? What's it like? Slimy. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'll have taken another bite. <laughs> Good evening. Um, when did I? I can't remember when I last spoke to you guys. Um, probably I think when we were out with Tilly. Hey, Brockles. Hey, gang. Um, yeah, Tilly came. We went for a lovely hat, and then we had um, a lovely pub lunch, and then I went to work. I've been at work all afternoon, and I am now very quickly going to chuck the boys out and pee, obviously, and then go home, grab some dinner, and then come back for my dressage lesson. Oh, thank God we're not going to get socks until um, tomorrow afternoon. So I get a little bit of a lay in and a chill morning tomorrow because today has been pretty intense. Day on goat's hocks. I just got them to heal. So I've been using the um, Amiga clay and it was working really well. And then he's been in all day and he's laid. I know he's laid down because he's covered in poo and he's ripped it all the scab and all the clay off again. I am just at my wits end. I don't know what I can do to stop him cutting his hocks like this. It's really stressing me out because I'm worried that he's going, they're going to get infected um, because the flies get in them and I keep putting clay on every day but then he just literally lays on it and rips it off again but I can't stop him laying down. So yeah, if anyone's had anything similar or know of how I could bandage a hock or maybe I could put, maybe I'd have to look into hock boots or something but I know they don't stay on when they lay down. Oh, stressing me out. Anyway, so I'm running even more late now. I've just had to wash all the bedding and that out of his leg. I'm gonna leave it to dry and then I'll clay it up after our lesson a bit later. But yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see, this is where he's laid down, he's covered in poo. And then in the process of laying down, he's pulled the scab off this again. And you can see all these other cuts. Good boy, there's loads of flies around him. There's one on that hock that he's just cut. And it's not like he hasn't even got any bedding. He's got a huge straw bed. So I really don't know what else. I can do. I think me and Socks could come a professional dressage with her trot paces. If we tried.
got a drive. Where are we going, Victoria? To get my new horse. We are driving down the A12 currently to um, pick up Victoria's new pony. What's she called, Tora? Socks. You gonna tell them about her? No. You're not? No. You're not shy? Yeah. We'll, Tori's going to film some more of the journey and we will um, keep you updated with our progress. It's a couple of hours for us, so um, yeah, we've got a bit of a way to go. Yeah. Guys, we've made it. I'm vlogging from the toilet. <laughs> like, this, is, this is dedication right here. I'm in a strange toilet and there's a lot of cobwebs, but we've made it. Um, oh, it was a hell of a drive and it's tracking it down with rain and we got here and I am... Um, not dressed for that because it was sunny in Suffolk, but yes, we're just going to get um, socks ready and then hopefully she's going to be a good girl, go straight on the trailer and then we can get going home because like I said it's a couple of hours home. And yeah, fingers crossed this is all going to go to plan because Tori is so excited. We weren't sure they were going to fit because they're my old horses, so... Yeah, we've got some. Good girl. Good girl. You ready? Long journey home. She's so She's chill, isn't pooing. she? Pooing. That's how she is all the time. That's Victoria's going to clean the really trailer out. Try hard to upset her. Right, <laughs> I'm shutting this now. Good girl. See you in a couple of hours. Hmm. Welcome to the parking lot. That is the M25. Good girl, socks. Oh, are you having a salt lick? Yeah, it is magnets. Is it? Yeah, that's all it is. Leather. Do you like your salt lick? We're home and there's been a change of weather. We're just, socks is here. This is socks, everyone. We're just walking her to her field for the first time while Victoria is, aren't you? Yeah. She traveled amazing and she's been such a good girl. And she's super, super chill, super chill. Good girl, What do you think, Toya? Love her. <laughs> okay, so Socks has gone all of two strides into her field and we're eating already. Not fussed about our friends. Oh. Are we fussed about our friends? Have a little, little no. I think she thinks of her belly. <laughs> She's not actually oh, Ella's that. here as well, by the way. And Mum. We're not... She's so cute. The Hi. peeing down rain. It's like she's been here her whole life. This bit's awful. Yeah, her little scruffy bits where she's been itching. Girl. <laughs> she's a good girl. Yeah, we'll get it sorted. We'll get it all sorted. We made it home. I'm absolutely soaked. I am not dressed for torrential rain. Thank God Ella met us at my mum's stables and brought me my coat. Otherwise it would be even worse. But Socks is home and how cute is she? Um, she was an absolute angel the whole way home. She walked straight on the trailer as you guys would have seen. I mean she had to have a little bit of encouragement and then she walked on. And I didn't hear a peep from her the whole two and a half hour journey home. Which was really tough going for me driving because the condition the driving conditions are awful but yeah she's home and she wasn't sure on the american barn which is where the stables are here at mum's um but again just gave her a little bit of time and then we just sh shooed her in she was fine she had a little look around and then we've just put her straight in the field because um horses are supposed to live out and I don't believe in um, mamby pambying around. I like to set the tone as we go on. Um, so yeah, straight in the field, and she didn't even care. She's, um, I can see her from here. She's grazing like she's been here her entire life. So that's amazing. We're gonna go now, feed go, and then we will stop and put my trailer back, and then we'll stop by on the way home, and then we'll come back again probably later on tonight. Um, to check she's okay but i think i'm gonna end the weekly vlog here because it's probably rolling on a bit and um yeah what do you guys think of socks do you like her there'll be many more um clips of her to come and i'll show her progress with victoria as we go on and as always if you've liked this video um 
please if you've enjoyed this video please like it mum's now um putting stuff in the back um if you want to see more like this subscribe to my channel um and drop me a comment below and i will see you in next week's vlog which is our regional final at board hill bye guys